Hello and welcome, it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I have this lovely, I think it's a 40 by 40 square canvas. I have put my, um, ooh, I can't think of the name of it, the masking tape on the bottom. So it keeps the bottom of my canvas nice and clean and of course my giant push pins. I am going to do something a little different today in that it's not actually going to be pouring paint. Um, what I'm going to use next will be the Amsterdam pearlescent, but basically straight from the um, tube onto the canvas. So we just have to see what lovely effect it will do over this black base. So I am just going over the base with um, a mixture of acrylic paint and pouring medium just to get a nice good coat on my canvas um, coated up and I will um, just hit this with the heat one to dry it off and I will leave it till it's completely dry before I start using my um, pearlescent paints on it. showing you that uh, plastic sheet because this is all that I'm going to do. These are the Amsterdam pearlescent. They all come out looking white but they dry a completely different colour especially on a dark base. Um, they really show up the best on dark bases. So yeah they all look white uh, and I'm just squirting them onto that plastic sheet to basically use a sponge brush and maybe um, a, a different kind of brush and see how I go and what kind of sort of wanting like a ribbon effects on this canvas um, and then I even want to try a few other things I just haven't done the pearlescent paints without um, mixing them with a the pouring medium so let's see how we go Remembering these paints are all looking like they're white on black at the moment, but they will dry the pearlescent colours, so um, it will definitely come to life. And it's such a relaxing process. You certainly do not have to be an artist. You just take it nice and slow and give it a go. So all I'm doing is dipping that sponge. I did uh, slightly dampen my sponge brush and... Um, and then you know dipping it in the paints on their own so it's quite a, a nice relaxing process so i hope you have a go at it and i hope you enjoy this one You can see at this point already as the paints start to dry the colours are starting to come out in the paints and it's quite beautiful. So I really wanted to do this particular piece minimalistic um, to allow it to sort of look like the ribbons are floating on that uh, background, that nice lush black background and um, it's kind of, yeah, really... Um, really coming together nicely fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you come give me all your love i want you to know we can make it together Just a whiz over with the heat wand, kind of set it all. And I'm going to actually see what doing some little balloon kisses in these fluorescent paints gives me on the canvas. This will be interesting uh, because, as I said, the paints have got no 
pouring medium in there just the actual paints themselves so let's uh, whimsy it all up with these little balloon kisses There you go, the little balloon kisses. I'll um, allow all of this to dry, fully dry. Oh, look at that sheeny shine on it. And then I'm going to come back and give it a coat of varnish. Wow, this has really dried beautiful. Look at those balloon kisses, the colours that came out. Because um, I squished, kissed the uh, little balloon onto that paint. Look at the detail in the kisses, like the, you couldn't even draw so much detail in those. It's really beautiful, so now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to make it um, really nice and shiny. It's been dry now for about a week, so I was going to use resin over the top of it, but um, I haven't got my art, I haven't got enough resin to go over it. So what I thought I'd just do is my, what I normally use when I want to give it kind of a nice uh, protective coat. It's called um, fusion pouring resin, but it's not a, a resin. It's, it's sort of pre-made. It's not a resin, as you know, in the two parts and setting like that. So what I normally do is I just literally put a bit of this uh, resin I don't measure anything, I, I probably put a, as much as I've got in there in and then I mix a little bit of warm water in with it. So it's just giving me like a wipe over. Ooh, this has been done for a while. So this one I actually added a little bit of, where is it? Dragonfly glaze. I like to add the dragonfly glaze in this because it gives then, when you coat it, a really sparkling effect over the whole work. So this is what I call my wipe on uh, gloss finish or resin finish. So it's not really resin, even though it says it's resin. I don't think it is because uh, it's water dis you know, um, dispersant and it's not, yeah. It said it's 100% acrylic polymer, a few emulsion. There's a link for it in my Amazon store underneath this video. So like I said, I just mix a little bit of um, warm water with it to just make it a really watery consistency. So I can just put lots of coats on because it only takes about 15 minutes in between each coat. So I've had this in this little container for quite a while now. So I'll just pour it on like that. See, it's already glistening in it. I just damp a um, chucks towel, I think you call them, just a, one of these chucksy wipes. Keep it damp in, in another container. And then I just wipe over it. And you can do, like you can have your whole table set out with all your paintings that you would like to coat and use the same cloth and just give them a wipe over. I mean, I like to do kind of three times, gives a nice finish on it and it protects the canvas then. Um, so I'll leave that now to dry. I'll try not to go back over it too many times. So I'll leave that to dry and then I will just coat over it one or two more times with what I have left. I always put my rag or uh, chucks back into the container so it stays moist and then seal it and it's ready to use when that's dry again in 15 minutes 
and then I'll just go over again I'll just keep doing that till it's got a nice uh, sheeny shiny coat on it and then that's my wipe over method it, it's so easy but can you see I'm not sure if you can actually see the dragonfly glaze glistening in there I mean the dragonfly glaze is really lovely to put in actual resin as well just thinking of got anything around me that's got the dragonfly glaze in but no it hasn't so I'm going to order some resin so I can um, just do a resin top coat. You can buy resin that is just meant as a top coat over art. So that was my easy little project with those um, Amsterdam pearlescent paints that's not actually a pour. I mean, anybody really can do this. You do not have to be an artist. It's easy. It was a, a minimalistic, really. Um, and I loved how the balloon kisses turned out with the pearlescent paints. They're really beautiful. So you will see photos at the end of after it's dried with the three coats of that uh, wipe over gloss. Thank you so much for joining me and I will be back soon. Bye for now. I'm okay if I got you, we don't have to stay We can do what we want to, just give a little bit of your heart Give a little bit of your heart to me All the most scars start to heal when I'm with you And I can't explain how I feel when I'm with you Just give a little bit of your heart Give a little bit of your heart to me Just come give me all your love I want you to know We can make it together Let the wind blow All we need is each other Come take my hand You're all that I have
leaving me just like the 